Greetings. This is a volcano and earthquake watch for March 16 through to March 20. Strong solar activities over the last 24 hours, as well as a powerful coronal hole formation which will be rotating into the Earth facing position in the coming days, represent a potential of an 8 magnitude earthquake during this watch. We now look at the latest coronal hole information via the Solar Trestle Activity Report from Solon.info, and we see a significant area on the Sun. Now this is a powerful coronal hole, CH507, which is a trans-equatorial coronal hole and covers both hemispheres and I feel harbours a potential of an extremely large earthquake during this watch. Now there's also a component in the southern hemisphere that has split away or broken away which may also produce a significant earthquake for the southern hemisphere, so I feel there may be two significant earthquakes during this watch. We're now looking at the SDO composite moving imagery and we do see this significant coronal hole formation does cover a large region on the solar corona. Now the main areas to focus for this watch will be the top portion of this coronal hole and also the rear flank in the southern hemisphere. This will be the main areas of concern for this watch. We're now looking at the latest solar wind telemetry from ACE where we see currently solar wind speeds are at 520 kilometres a second. Now we should see a strong change in solar winds over the next 24 to 36 hours from the influences of the coronal hole formation CH507 as it has its effects on the Earth. Now this may give a green light to a significant seismic event based on the solar symmetry from this coronal hole formation to the Earth. We're now looking at the GOES X-ray flux monitor and we see strong activities over the last 12 hours mainly due to active region 11429 producing a strong M7.9 class solar flare. Now this active region will be rotating off the Earth facing side of the disk in around 24 hours so we should see a strong dip in X-ray background once this happens. So we should see quiet conditions prevailing on the solar corona, which will also give a green light to a strong earthquake potential felt here on Earth. We're now looking at the 193 angstrom with solar monitor, and I have isolated a specific region of this coronal hole, which I feel may produce this strong earthquake, and it's situated from 6 degrees north latitude down towards 3 degrees south latitude, or just across the equator, and I have isolated some regions I feel could be the main areas of focus for this watch. Now going to plot and map some regions I feel will be most at risk for this significant earthquake based on solar symmetry as best mapped to the Earth. And my number one area of concern is for the region of Nicobar Islands stretching down towards northern Sumatra and the Nias region, Indonesia. These will be the number one areas of concern for this very large earthquake potential during this watch. And my second areas of concern from this coronal hole formation best mapped to the Earth are for the regions of Malacca Sea, Indonesia, Halmahera, Indonesia, the Celebes Sea, Mora Gulf, Philippines, and stretching across to Mindanao, Philippines. These will be the second and final of concern based on solar symmetry as best mapped to the Earth for this possible 8 magnitude earthquake for this watch. Now targeting the southerly component of this coronal hole, CH507, and I have isolated 36 to 41 degrees south latitude with the 193 angstrom and solar monitor, with the main dates of focus being March 17 through to March 19 and I do feel there is a potential of a 7.2 magnitude earthquake embedded within this coronal hole. Now going to plot the most likely areas that may be at risk for this significant earthquake in the southern hemisphere, and that's situated at 36 to 41 degrees south latitude, and my main area of concern is for the North Island of New Zealand, more specifically the regions of Hawke's Bay, off the east coast of the North Island of New Zealand, Lake Taupo, and the Cook Strait, these would be the number one areas of concern based on this solar symmetry from this coronal hole formation to the Earth. Across the Pacific into South America would be my second area of concern for this watch, specifically the regions of Araucania in Chile, Bio Bio, and also Los Logos in Chile would be my main areas of concern for this watch. And I'm expecting a fairly strong earthquake potential in the back portion of this coronal hole. And the final area of concern would be for the West Chile rise in the Pacific Ocean. We're now looking at the outgoing long wave radiation anomaly. This is showing parts of the globe that may be susceptible of some significant seismic events based on radiation signatures, and the areas we're focusing on are shaded in darkish green. Now the main regions showing up for this week are showing up in the Carlsberg Ridge, Northern Sumatra, Andaman Islands and Nicobar Islands, and also Philippines has a very strong concentration. We also have another region showing up in Hawaii, and also the Mid-Atlantic Ridge. Now it's also worth noting that we do have a strong concentration showing up off the west coast of Western Australia, but this is associated with the tropical cyclone that has developed over the last 12 hours. We're now looking at the global real-time ionospheric map, where we see some powerful readings of 16 MHz have been recorded over the last 4-5 to five days, which is a concern. 
with the main concentration showing up just around the Krakatau region of Indonesia. We also have strong reading showing up in Samoa, into Tonga, and also Antofagasta in Chile is also showing very large readings over the last few days. And that's my volcano and earthquake watch for the 14th of March, 2012. For more information, please visit my website at solarwatcher.net where I'll be providing more content for subscribers and members. Annotations will be added during and at the end of this video. Thanks for watching.